everyone and welcome back. In this video we're doing some more calculation related geology. This time we're working on how to find width. Now in the last video we covered how to find thickness and width and thickness sound pretty similar but I'll show you the difference here. If we've got a cross-sectional diagram once again and let's just say the surface looks let's have it a flat surface this time and then we've got strata of interest running through here. The rest we don't really care about. We'll just let them know that it's rock there. But this is our strata of interest. Okay, so you recall that thickness is a line drawn through this strata that is perpendicular to both sides on the cross-sectional diagram. So it forms 90 degree angles with both the lines on the diagram. The width, on the other hand, is this distance here across the top. Um, <clears throat> across the top where the, uh, where the strata meets the surface. So once again, thickness is denoted by T, width is denoted by W. And right away, again, you see that we have another um, instance of some right triangle trigonometry. <coughs> and with that, we can uh, create another angle to form a cosine relationship. So if we want to say that the cosine of a certain angle is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse, well, this angle right here would work. We can call that... In the last video, we used alpha, so this time we use phi. Um, so phi is right here. And the cosine of phi, we know, is equal to the adjacent side, that's t, divided by the hypotenuse, that's... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Divided by the width, that's w, which is the hypotenuse because it is across from the... 90 degree angle in this case. And that, that allows us to find the width. Simple enough. So like in the last video, if we just want to assign numbers to these and see how it all works out, then we could just draw a quick similar situation. If we got something like this, we'll let this one go in the, the other direction. And once again, here's our thickness. Just drawing it across, making letting us know it's perpendicular to both sides. And yes, you do want to start it in you do want to start drawing your thickness at the point where this line of the strata meets the surface because that allows you to form the right triangle. So that's that's T. Let's say let's say they just give us that T is equal to let's call that three point five meters. And then of course here's W and here is angle phi and we'll just say that phi is equal to I don't know that looks maybe about 35 degrees so then we just plug that into the equation we can say that the cosine of 35 degrees is equal to 3.5 divided by the width And then the cosine of 35 degrees times W is equal to 3.5. So then W is equal to 3.5 divided by the cosine of 35 degrees. Now I'll use my calculator just to find that number real quick. Cosine of 
screens. That gives you 4.3 meters, roughly. Okay, and that's all there really is to f uh, calculating width. Of course, once again, uh, problems aren't going to be this nice uh, textbook style. So, um, you will frequently have to find thickness first, um, which, as I said in the last video, that requires the use of two different media, um, a two-dimensional cross-sectional diagram and a topographic profile of the region. Um, and yeah, that allows you to make pretty much a two-step problem where first you find the thickness and then you use that in here to find the width. Um, I could show a problem like that, but I think it's pretty straightforward. It would basically be just going back and finding these numbers first through a thickness problem and then plugging them into the, uh, the width problem. So that about covers it for width. I hope you guys enjoyed. hope you found it informative, otherwise good review. And I will see you in the next video.